Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a document is stuck in the print queue on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu and you want to type in Printer. You want to select the best match of printers and scanners on Windows 10. Windows 7 and Windows 8, it'll look a little bit different because you're going through the control panel. But the general point is we're trying to get to our printer here. And then you want to open up the queue. When you have a screen that looks like this, you want to left click on the printer tab at the top. Left click on cancel all documents. It's going to ask are you sure you want to cancel all documents. Select yes. You can close out of both of these windows at this time. I would now recommend opening up the start menu and typing in command prompt. Best match should say command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in NET, so net, space, stop, another space, spooler. Note that spooler has two O's here. Then you want to hit enter. And once it says that it has stopped and was stopped successfully, I'm going to have a command in the description of the video I want you to copy and then just paste it into the command line window by going up to the top bar here by right clicking on it and then left clicking on edit and then paste. Once you have it pasted in you want to hit enter. And now that you've done that you can close out of the command prompt, open up the start menu, type in services, best match should say services right above desktop app. You want to left click on that and now you want to go down to get to print spooler right here, right click on it, left click on properties. You want to make sure startup type is set to automatic and if the service status is stopped click on the start button right here. Okay guys click on OK. Close out of this window and any other open or active windows you have on your screen. Restart both your computer and your printer and hopefully your problem has been resolved. So as always thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.